Hey, it's Ashley May, and this is Starring Diversity. It's a brand new TV show where I make history a little less boring, because history truly is for hot and interesting people. And you seem like both. So, come on, welcome to this journey where we spill some tea, learn some things, and maybe not do that one thing again. I'm talking to you, Christopher Columbus. Woo! Anyway, join me on this journey where I tell you all about the people who have changed our world in the past. Hopefully, I can inspire you to do the same for the future. So come on, let's go. As of today's release, it is May 2nd. Not May as in Ashley May, but May as in Asian Pacific Heritage Month. For all you smart people, here's an acronym to remember. AAPI, Asian American Pacific Islander. And let me drop some facts. AAPI represents over 30 different countries across the entire Asian continent and the Pacific Islands of Micronesia, Polynesia, and Melanesia. A lot of Nesias. And we are the fastest growing racial group in America. In America, we make up about one-third of the annual million legal immigrants that enter every year. That's a lot of people. And I thought my family was big. <laughs> Episode 1. Becoming Asian American. But we weren't always Asian American. Well, we've been here, but we weren't called Asian American at least. So where did Asian American come from? I know. It all started in 1968 at the University of California, Berkeley. And this was the 60s, the groovy 60s, the let's change shit 60s. There was social change everywhere. People were like, oh my God, change, we need it, period. And at Berkeley, this was no exception. There was the American Indian movement, the pro-black movement, the anti-war movement, and two graduate students, Emma G and Yuji Ichioka, were like, I, you know, can the Asian people have a table? And you know what they did? They would go on to form the group, the Asian American Political Alliance Group. And this would be the world's first ever public usage of the word Asian American. Before that, typically Asian people of Asian descent would refer to themselves as whatever country of origin their family came from, like Chinese American, Japanese American, Filipino American, and so forth. But, I mean, if a white guy came around and he was like, I have no idea what you are, like I can't figure out what country you, you're from. Like I don't really want to think, so I'm just going to call you Oriental. And if you ask me, even for that time, like Oriental is kind of outdated. Like if you still call Asian people oriental, you're a jerk or a hundred years old, or maybe you're a hundred year old jerk. You're both, right? So not only does Asian American sound better, flow better, but it also united activists to fight that good fight. So thank you, Yuji and Emma, which by the way, I forgot to mention this, they were married so cute they would be married from that point they were two lovers like i don't know like i mean i'm feeling very single right now but like that's like goals so yes this is starring diversity that's how we became asian american thank you yuji and emma bye bye thank you for watching episode one on the university of california yeah. campus at berkeley there was beginning a phase of this youth revolt hey it's Ashley May again. You just finished watching Starring Diversity. How did you like it? This is season one. Season one is all about AAPI month. Um, you just finished watching this episode. Can you please subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, just to support Asian and Asian American girl just living her dream of giving you, I'm giving you an edumacation right now. That's what I'm doing. So don't forget to subscribe and yeah, support me and star in diversity because you know you want to yeah you do you know you want to bye bye